Stay tuned to see me do my first ever protective style. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing my very first protective style on myself, Spring Twist. So I've already sectioned my hair off in the back and I am working in small to medium sections, making sure to leave out my edges. So again, I'm working in small to medium sections, parting off my hair. I'm going to be doing the rubber band crochet method for the Spring Twist today, so keep on watching. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is going in with my Let's Jam Condition and Shine Extra Hold Gel and I'm going to be applying that around the base of my hair. Next I'll be applying my rubber band that I have soaked in oil. And then for some added moisture to my hair underneath this protective style, I'm going in with my Pydana Collection 3-in-1 Intensive Moisturizer. So the point of a protective style is to make sure that our hair is protected underneath, so I'm making sure that my hair is completely moisturized. So before doing this protective style, I did do a deep cleanse on my hair using the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay Mask and I followed that up with my Girl in Hair Curl Cloud Deep Conditioner and I will leave that video up above. So I'm just going to go in and separate the rest of my hair so keep on watching. So again, the style that I am doing is Spring Twist, and I got these from Amazon. I will leave all the information for these Spring Twists in the description box. This is the 8 inch that's in its curly state. Once you stretch it out, it is a whole lot longer, so I am going to actually cut it in half because I want them shorter to give me a more natural look. Okay, so as I said, this is my first time doing a protective style on my hair. So this was definitely a learning process. Rule number one, do not insert the crochet hook with the opening face up. Insert it down because it kept getting stuck on my hair as you will see. So my struggle was just trying to get the hair on the crochet hook just to pull it through. Like I really didn't know it was this complicated, but as you can see, your girl is struggling. So I finally got it together. I was able to pull the hair through and I inserted the crochet hook underneath the rubber band 
and then attach the hair to the crochet hook, close it up, pulled it through, and then now I'm just pulling one side through so that I have two even sides. And then I'm going to take my hair in the middle and then just tighten it up. And then I'm going to add some more of that less jam to my hair just to make the twisting part a little easier and to help my hair blend with the spring twist. So now I am taking my hair and splitting it in half with the two halves of the spring twist and the key to this style is twisting to the left. Now I do not normally twist to the left so it was a learning curve for me. Definitely made some mistakes along the way but once I got the hang of it, it was a piece of cake. So again, you have to twist to the left because if you don't, it will be a mess. So I'm twisting fairly tightly, but I'm just doing a regular normal two strand twist that I would do on my own hair, but I am holding the hair fairly tight. And I am adding a little bit more of the less jam as I go down just to help with twisting and to help my hair blend with the spring twist. Again, this is the eight inch spring twist that I have cut in half. I am twisting all the way down to the end and then I'm just going to coil it around my finger just like I do when I do my normal twist. Y'all don't know how happy I was to get this first twist done. But sis, I got a long way to go. So let's get into it. So I'm just going to be repeating these same steps throughout the rest of my hair, so please enjoy. Now this was an all day process for me, so I would definitely say have you a good playlist going or a good movie to watch to occupy your time because this definitely took me some time, probably because it's my first time doing a protective style on myself, but it's also just a time consuming process, but it's definitely well worth it in the end. So let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite protective style to do on yourself? So I'm so excited that I was able to accomplish doing the spring twist. Definitely wanna try this style again. I think the next time I'm going to leave it and not cut it. So I'm just gonna leave it long and I'm gonna do it in bigger sections. So stay tuned for that video.
So these spring twists that I got on Amazon came in individual packs with 14 in the individual packs and there's 10 of those individual packs in the package all together. I only used two on this style, so I can definitely get about three to four styles out of this pack. Finally on to the last section and I couldn't be more excited. I am already loving this look. So I'm gonna take it slow for this last one. Again, I am inserting the crochet hook underneath the rubber band. And then I am attaching the spring twist to the crochet hook, pulling it through or pulling one piece through so that I have two pieces on either side. And then my hair is in the middle and I'm just twisting it up as I do my regular two strand twist. The key is to make sure that you twist going to the left. And now I am all done. I'm gonna do something to my edges and I'll be back for the final reveal. So here are my final results. I am definitely loving these spring twists. They look so natural. I like that I did them short because it gives a very realistic look. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I will see you in my next video.